You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. As some of you may on Twitter, the Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you to the Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace. I believe we are on. K's Path, that's right, yep, we're on K's Path. Anyway, before we jump into it, just want to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel and get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. I don't even know anymore. I'm fine. If you say so, I'm all done. You can turn the shower back on to rinse. Thanks. I do as he says, not turning around for the whole time that he was talking. But he was taking care of my back since I don't want him to see the look on my face. Kaysuke, your sense of timing is ridiculous. At least the hot water helps a little bit. I don't ever want to get out. You'll have to eventually. I need a shower too, you know. I know, I know. Just give me a second. I want to say just give me until this thing goes down, but I think we'd end up waiting around for too long if I did that. I end up turning around and stepping out from under the shower once I, once I notice it's about halfway down. That's probably the best I'm going to get in this situation. Keisuke quickly takes my place under the water, exhaling as soon as he feels the warmth hitting him, his fur compacting and clinging tightly to his body as it gets progressively more soaked. Phew, this feels great. Told you. Keisuke grabs his face a few times, grabs his face a few times so it lets the water fully soak his front. He eventually turns around so it can do the same to his back, which is when I notice that his dick is also acting up. Hey, you did all that teasing, but yours is also hard. Hmm? What are you talking about? Of course it's hard. You think I'd manage to get through rubbing my boyfriend's body like that without reacting? That... You didn't seem like that at all! Why am I the only one getting flustered, then? Well, it's only... It's only a semi right now. It's settled down a bit. I feel cheated. Huh? What do you mean? Don't worry about it. What? I ignore Keisuke's confusion, grabbing the bottle of shampoo and reaching around to turn off the water once again. Come on, it's your turn. Oh, by all means, thanks. I tried to do the same as Keisuke, spreading the shampoo on his fur while doing my best to massage him in the process. Just like he said, now that I'm touching Keisuke like this for the first time, I also notice how much muscle definition he has. I can help from comparing it to myself. His don't feel quite as hard or defined as mine, but they're still really nice. I technically let it slip by accident earlier today, but I was right. Keisuke does have a nice body. Although I'm nowhere near as suave as he is when it comes to rubbing. Uh, that. I still notice Keisuke's dick stiffening up when I start rubbing his stomach. After a few seconds of hesitation, I eventually say to hell with it in my hand and do as Keisuke did, rubbing his cock and balls with the shampoo before continuing my way down as if nothing had happened. It's kind of fun to touch them, not gonna lie. The way it reacts and throbs in my hand made me feel a little giddy. Man, I'm really getting turned on. If I wasn't painfully aware of the fact that these two are waiting, out, waiting for us outside, I'd probably keep rubbing it. With the words caught in my throat, I can only let out a, let out a grant and tap and tap Keisuke's waist, and let out a, gr a grunt, and tap Keisuke's waist when it's time for him to turn around. Look at y'all. Water time. Hmm. <sighs> with the words caught in my throat, I can Okay, I already did that. Thankfully, he doesn't take the opportunity to tease me and does so without a problem, letting me continue to wash him up. His backside feels even firmer than his front, if that's at all possible. The muscles around his shoulders are developed in all the right places. I can tell just how much effort he's put into training from this alone. You're pretty impressive. Hmm? What do you mean? You said all that you said all of that about not having a good physique, but your body isn't bad at all. You've got definition everywhere that counts, and you don't have any excess muscle in the wrong places. It's really easy to develop the wrong muscle groups if you're not careful. That can end up hindering your flexibility and making it more difficult to play. You don't seem to have that problem. Oh, thanks. Truth be told, I had guidance from a private coach when I was younger. It's thanks to him that I didn't fall into that trap. I'm guessing you went through the same. You don't have excess definition either despite your strength. In fact, it's pretty shocking how limber you are. Me? Not really. I did a lot of research on my own. I had the coach for the private club I went to a few years ago. But I was a bit young and we didn't get into the subject of muscle groups or anything back then. I just like looking at, just like looking into this sort of thing. So I read up and watched videos on, a bu on it a bunch. Whoa! I'm surprised you managed to learn all that on your own. There's a lot of conflicting information on the subject. True, but trudging through stuff and having the judgment to pick out what is what is or isn't right should be a basic skill if you want to be a player at a high level, right? I think that you underestimate your own hand on the matter. Not surprising, though. What do you mean? Nothing important. Don't you worry about it. Keisuke turns the shower back on, rinsing off the soap until his fur is completely clean. We swap places a few times, enjoying the hot water while we still can before we both agree that we've been at it, to, at it long enough. 
Keisuke goes out and dries himself up first. Since it's his towel, it's only fair that he gets to use it first. Once we're both properly dried, or as dry as we can get without a blow dryer, we go back to the locker room to put our clothes back on. Thank God I had the sense to bring a change of clothes with me. As soon as we step out, we see Shuichi and Aki by the gate. While Aki is sitting calmly and using his phone, Shuichi is pacing impatiently. Finally, I was starting to think you'd never show up. I was about to head inside and see what was taking so long. That's not necessary. Shuichi, ni, don't be like that. Aniki's fur takes a long time to dry, especially if, he all, if all he has is a towel. Yeah, and Keisuke and I had to share a towel. It wasn't even dry by the time I got to use it. Still, the sun is almost setting. Can't afford to get home that late. S sorry. Oh man, thank God I kept my impulses in check. That would have been so awkward if Shuichi had walked in on us. After this, I kind of feel like I need to head to a shrine and offer a little prayer and thanks for, for escaping that particular wreck. Where should we go? I'd rather not go anywhere that might take too long. I kind of want to have some udon. If you don't mind a bit of a trip, the old shopping district has a noodle stand that makes some great broth. Ramen, udon, somen, it's all pretty good there. Second meal. Ah. That sounds good to me. After working that hard, I think some cold ramen would be heaven. Whew, that does sound great. I'm on board, though I'd rather have uh, the blah, though I'd rather get some udon. Uh, we can decide what we're, what we're each going to order when we get there. Although, I hope you're okay with taking the train to Ushihara. Why wouldn't I be? I don't know. You usually get, sh get, sh get chauffeured everywhere, right? I wasn't sure if you had much experience taking a train. I've done it a few times. I'm not that sheltered. A few times. You say it as if it's supposed to be impressive. Just shut up and lead the way. After a somewhat long trip, especially on an empty stomach, we finally turn a corner to arrive at an old shopping district, with its street lit up by a myriad of different lamps and lanterns. It's quite noticeable that we're in the old part of town simply by looking at the surrounding architecture. If anything, I'm shocked this place has held up for as long as it did. Although, I thought I, thought I knew most of the city by now, but I don't remember ever seeing a place like this. Whoa, it's like... Like stepping like on a portal to the past. It's just a shopping district. What are you talking about? Come on, you don't see places like this everywhere anymore. That is true. I've never been to a place quite like this before. It reminds me of something I'd see in old worn out pictures. That's to be expected from you, though. You're Mr. Sheltered. Care to run that by me again? Easy there, you two. Let's not get on each other's throats. We're here to have a good time. Are we? I don't know about you, but I'm here to eat. Seconded. Come on, Aki, a little bit more help here would be appreciated. Why are you looking at me for help? I'm a kid. Oh, so now you're a kid. I've always been a kid. Funny how you're only a kid when it suits you, huh? I'll remember this. Yuichi, you're arguing with a 12-year-old and losing. He just thinks he's so smart. Now, uh I never said anything like that. The point isn't whether you're winning or losing, you twit. The point is why are you arguing with a 12-year-old? See, Keisuke, you've fallen for his willy for his willy little scheme. He pretends to be all sweet and innocent and childlike when you least expect it he strikes. He's evil, Keisuke. Evil. Wake up! Why are you looking at me like that? Uh hmm Me? Uh no reason. I think Yuichi's starting to lose the plot. Uh oh. Would you guys stop mocking me? We're not doing anything. Aki and Shuichi fist bump each other in a not at all obvious fashion. Not even a little bit. Totally inconspicuous. All I can do is stare at them disapprovingly while Keisuke looks at me in size and exasperation. Either way, let's not stand around too long. Not only are we blocking the flow of traffic, but I'm getting but I'm not getting any less hungry. Fair. This is a somewhat cramped street. To the to the noodle stand! Follow me, citizens! Shuichi puffs his chest, making a whole show of posturing and pointing forward while calling for us to follow him in a silly voice. For someone usually so concerned about others' opinion on him, he sure does seem to drop his guard at the weirdest of times. Second yell. Not that any of the people around us seem to notice. Maybe they're used to weirdos by now. That doesn't sound too great for them. Either way, we make our way through the brightly lit street and the small crowd that is formed in it. On our way, I notice lots of stalls set up or stores with their windows open and selling and selling directly to passers-by through them. In them, I see all kinds of goods that I'd come that I'd come to associate with either convenience stores or or bougie little sweet shops. Doriyakis, Dango, Ramune, Takoyaki, Yakisoba, Karage. It's like walking through a miniature festival, and all the delicious smells are definitely not good for my stomach right now. Jeez, this place really smells amazing when you're hungry. I think it smells amazing all the time. You just happen to be hungry. Is that stand you mentioned far? Nah, it's right over there. 
To which he points to a dainty little cart parked on the street in the middle of a row of other similarly sized food carts. The only thing that really makes it stand out is the big, portly black bear standing behind it who seems to be easily half the size of his cart. Chuichi says a quick word of greeting, grabbing the bear's attention to which he quickly, which he promptly smiles widely. Oh, Eronikun. Good evening. It's been a while. It really has. School has been pretty crazy lately. I haven't had much time to myself. No kidding. I was starting to think something had happened to you. Damn, how frequent of a customer are you? Shuichi scratches his chin, mumbling to himself for a few seconds before answering. I don't know, it really depends. When I'm free, I think I come here around two or three times a week. But it's not uncommon for me to not show up for a few weeks at a, at a time either. The pair laughs, nodding along to Shuichi's words. Urodokun is certainly a big help during the slow months. It might only be a handful of times a month, but it does end up making a difference. Heh, <laughs> I'm glad to help. Well, the guy sure does seem nice, though. His cart seems to be a bit old. The lettering on the tarp is a bit faded and the wood is chipped in places, but it looks completely spotless. And I'm not gonna lie, it smells amazing too. I'm suddenly very hungry and can't wait to eat whatever it is put in front of me. So, are you boys just passing by or are you here to eat? Heh, <laughs> I brought them here specifically because of you, Hanazado san. Really? Oh, I'm flattered. What do you kids want to eat? We quickly check to see what all we want. Keisuke and I both stick to our initial idea of ordering ordering somen with the ba most basic broth they have here. I know it's usually accepted by that athletes just eat a lot after a workout, but I'm so hot and tired that I just want something fresh and easy to digest. Chuichi ends up ordering udon, with Aki also following suit. After we pick up our to pick our to out our toppings, our order is complete in record time. A fact that all three of these jerks make sure to tease me about. I'm hungry, okay? I don't have the energy to agonize over a bunch of choices. I just want the easiest thing to eat. In just a couple of minutes, our food is ready and served right in front of us. The stall is a bit cramped for the four of us to sit together, and we end up counting our blessings that, that he only had a couple of stragglers as customers when we arrived. Still, despite its simplicity, the food is absolutely delicious. Oh, okay. One second, y'all. Okay. Water time. I'll make the last couple minutes count. Me and Keisuke are the first to be served due to how easy to prepare our dishes are. By the time Shuichi starts talking, I realize I've already wolfed out half my food. I really need to pace myself here. By the way, are you still staying at Yuichi's place, Urushihara? Hmm? Oh, yes. Though... Ah, uh, hair on my tongue. Motherfucker. <laughs> hmm. Oh, yes. Though we've already talked about me going back home. You have? That's news to me. Like, well, to summarize, I checked in with Yuichi very briefly while you two were waiting for us at the school gates. I'd already decided to head back once we got once we get back from the tournament next week. Ah, I see. That makes sense. No real point in going back home just to get on the road and spend days in a hotel right after. My point exactly. I was just starting to get used to having you around, Keisuke san. I'll miss having someone I can talk to talk about tennis with. Excuse me, I'm right here, you know. Yeah, I know. It's just not the same. Oh come on! It's okay. I can give you my phone number so we can message about it if you want. That would be nice. I feel completely ignored here. There, there. Suichi reaches around behind Aki and gives me a few quick pats on the back that do nothing to ease the annoyance I'm feeling right now. Getting back to the subject at hand, though, I really feel like I've been away from the estate for long enough. While I would certainly like nothing more than to go away and not return, I know the longer I stay away, the worse my problems will get. If I don't deal with this soon, I'll just be making things more complicated for me down the line. Alright y'all, I'm going to go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and give a quick shout out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank y'all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver tier patron, Cade Silvermoon. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you to our gold tier patron, Amr. Thank you for subbing to our ultimate tier. You're awesome. We love you. We hope you enjoy your new icon. And anyway, if y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to our not safe for work contents as little as $5. Alrighty. I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.